Hello everyone, this is uh, Stanky Grape here. A little bit different, World of Warcraft. Yes, I'm going to be playing a game of AB. Um, this is the first time I've been back on WoW in a while. I haven't really been playing it seriously at all this year and a lot of, well, a lot of last year really. I haven't really played Cataclysm at all. Um, a few reasons, and I'll explain in this video as to why I'm doing this, is uh, I, I've watched a few videos of uh, Mist of Pandaria, and uh, it's got me thinking. You know, it looks like a good expansion. Um, I was out of the loop when Kata got released. I didn't even um, pre-order it. I didn't even buy it when it came out on time. I, it, you know, I didn't get into it until way, way late, and then even then I didn't get into the game. So, um, looking at uh, Mr. Pandaria, and uh, I'm thinking, yes, I want to play this. Yes, it's looking good. I'm, you know, I like a few of the changes that have been done. I kind of wish I got into the beta, but I haven't, so that's another thing. But I can't just wait for the game to launch and then jump straight on it. I don't think, as I, like I said, I've been out of the loop for so long. I feel I need to get back into the game. Um, not going to take it too serious, as there's not much to do until well until the expansion is released so I'm just gonna use it as a bit of downtime jump on you know play a few BGs maybe try to improve my gear a little bit ready for the launch which I have no idea when it's when the launch is going to be but I'd imagine it's going to be sometime around the summer so possibly July August time what I'm thinking anyway but um so I'm gonna do a little well, series. I don't know what, what the series is going to, going to be called. I'll, I'll think of the name once the video's done or during the video. But um, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I've just brought my sub again. I'm kind of looking forward to uh, getting back into it and uh, playing a few BGs, maybe a bit of arena. We'll see what happens. But um, I'll give you a little insight into my WoW history, anyway. Um, I guess I've been playing the game for, well, I guess it's five years now. I think I first got vanilla when I was, I must have been about 15. I'm now 20 years old, so it must be about five years-ish since I've, yeah, since I've been playing the games. It must be about five years now. Well, time flies. But um, I've never really been a hardcore WoW player, you know, never been in top tier arena, um, top tier guilds or anything like that, but I have taken the game somewhat serious since I've played in my time, and uh, God, it's not a good time to commentate is it when I'm trying to PvP. Oh god. Like I said, forgive me if I make silly mistakes in this video, stupid things where you look at me and go, what are you doing, you fucking retard? Because, like I said, I haven't played the game in a while. This is my first time back in a very long time. And, um... I'm not going to be, you know, brilliant at PvP or anything. As, well, I've been out of the loop. You know what it's like. You get out of the loop of the game. You come back on it and you suck. But, um, I've been playing the game for a while. I, I've always been into... Wow, well, since I've got it. Um into arenas, into PvE. I've always been more, in my mind at least, a PvP rather than PvE. You know, even if it's just um, casually, I'd always happily jump on, play a BG and enjoy the BG, do a few oh. games of arenas. You know, I never take it too seriously. I never take anything I do too seriously. Um, I've never really... I've, I've done PvE, obviously, as we all have, but I've never taken it so seriously and this bitch is gonna get away from me fucking motherfucker never taking it too seriously as one I've never gotten into guilds because I don't I've never liked the idea of having to be on at certain times you know being able to make all of this and that because it's not that I've played the game so casually it's just you know I don't see I should have to be on at certain times for certain things Perhaps if I was in, in a proper guild with people that I got along with, maybe with real life friends or gaming friends that I, I spoke to a lot, you know, it's a different story, but I actually haven't, you know, been 
lucky enough to have, have that experience. So, you know, that's one thing. Come on, Mika. I don't even know what classes are like nowadays. I haven't played this in well over a month, and even back then I was just logging on and doing a BG or two. Um, right. So yeah, it's been a while. I've got... I play a um, arms warrior, a retribution paladin, and um, most recently it has been this rogue. I think this is... No, sorry, not most recently. Most recently I've got a hunter to 85. Um, I use the... What do you call it? Not recruit a friend, the other one. Resurrection thing. And I did get a hunter to 85. And uh, I was actually in the process of gearing that up, but, you know, I kind of got sidetracked and kind of gave up on it. But like I said, since I've been watching the, the Miss of Pandaria beta videos, you know, videos of Swifty and stuff like that, it's really um, kind of, you know, made me want to get back into it. I do realise that I have to get back into it. I don't feel I can just jump straight into the expansion. I mean, gear isn't an issue because... You know what it's like, you replace your blue, you replace your epic story within, you know, your first level of, of getting the next level in the expansion with green. So, it's not so much that, that that's an issue, it's more the fact of, I want to I wanna pick what character I want to play in the expansion, I want to know that character again, I want to know the ins and outs of it a bit, I want to know the changes leading up to the expansion, I want to know the changes in the expansion, which I mean, I'm hoping I can get a beta key, just to experience, you know, because I know it's still, you know, pretty underdeveloped, um, a lot of people saying that it's it's not as far as they thought it was going to be along in, like, um, development, so there might still be time for me, we'll have to see what goes on anyway, I've, I've obviously got the beta opt-in, so I might get lucky, but, um, it's just basically getting back into it, not taking it too seriously for now, and then um, hopefully by the time Mr. Pandaria hits, I'll have a nice little series, a nice character all built up, and I'll be able to jump straight into the game with a series, and uh, you guys can follow along and hopefully it'll be good. Fire mage, it's interesting. Yeah, you know, I have said, forgive my PvP skills, or the lack of them. I haven't played in a very long time, so I am out of the loop when it comes to these things. But I can still drop a little magey mage. Last time I took the game a bit seriously, it must have been... Back in Rafa Lichkin, that's when I was doing arenas, I say somewhat seriously, along with PvE, but since then, I don't know, care for me, I can't, you know, my opinion's a bit biased because I haven't played the game so much, so whatever I say is, um, it's a bit biased because, like I said, you know, I haven't been in the game to real, really know what's going on. But from what I've seen, it, you know, what I've heard and other people's experience and stuff, it's, it hasn't been the best expansion. I think a lot of people would agree with me there. Perhaps it's just, you know, I haven't played the game in a while, haven't been into the game, so obviously that, you know, that, that does that does matter. But, Mr. Pandera, it's looking good. So, you know, that's something to go on. Hopefully the game, you know, lives up to its expectations. Or surpasses them. It'd be great if it could surpass your expectations. Be a much better expansion. Um, I mean, Guild Wars 2, I think, Can might you? just rival it. We'll have to wait and see for that also. That's, that's another game I'm also planning on getting. And planning on playing pretty seriously is um, Guild Wars 2. So we'll have to see what the release dates on, on both are because 
I've always been a fan of the WoW series. I've been a fan of. I mean, a lot of people rip on the graphics and stuff, rip on how it is, say it's outdated. Um, it doesn't have so much of an outdated feel to it in terms of the graphics and what you can see, rather than just I don't know. Sometimes the game feels like it hasn't. It's outdated, but I mean, you know, the game is old, so you can see where that comes into play. But as for the graphics, you know. This is what we all know WoW for. It's uh, the cartoony style graphics. It's what, it's what, it's what, you know, it's why we love WoW. And um, I believe that to be true. I believe, you know, we love WoW because of the graphics. So you can't. I don't feel people can rip on it for it not looking a certain way because it hasn't tried to do that. You know, it, it's kept with the graphics, and um, I'm happy for that. Fucking mage is calling me all kinds of problems here. And the priest kills him. So I guess I'll just be uploading BG videos. Um, if I can find an arena partner, as I see, you know, where I haven't been playing for so long, I have not really a game that I can speak to anymore, which is a shame. Really, because it means you know I can't Counting. really do arenas. Um, I might be able to experience the PVE content. I might be able to play some arenas. Um, I still don't know what character I'd want to pick up. I just plan on just playing them all. Just rambling over a BG, really. Playing the character and see how far into it I can get. But it would really be nice if I could have a set character already for the expansion for when the expansion drops. You know. I'll have it, I'll pre-order it, you know, as soon as I know when the release date is, I'll pre-order it and it'd be nice for it to drop and for me to be able to just jump straight on, whichever character it may be, and begin playing. And the beauty of me playing it now would mean that I'd have a more understanding of the character again, because, you know, I've been out of the loop, so I have forgot a few things. It is, it is weird how you can just simply forget it like that. It's not like I'm a total noob at the game because I've played it, you know, I've put countless of hours into this game. I mean, play just on this character alone is 12 days. And when you think that's 12 real life days, that's, you know, 12 days of 24 hours. It's a long time. So, and that's one character out of many. So, I'm not total no but I have forgot a few things you know but the beauty of a game like this is it's forever changing you know it's why a lot of us love MMOs is they are forever changing there's forever patches there's forever this that and the other that's constantly changing constantly on the move so things change things happen and you, you know if you're not in playing the game you're out the loop so you won't understand um, yeah, I, 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 I guess I'm going to have to have a look at to see how the classes are faring up in the expansion with some of the patch notes. Um, look at some of the new moves that are coming into the game and then decide based on that, kind of make my decision and see what would be a good character to play. I can't even remember what bloody keybind is here. Rogue. Let's see, I can get stealth. And let's, no, there's boots for the old dirt. Yeah, I will check the patch notes out. Because the whole revamp of the, the um, talent system does look very interesting. I used to be really into my warrior. Um. Oh, it must be going a few years back now. When I, you know, Swifty's been around forever, but I started really watching his videos, and I liked how the warrior. Back when I was playing it, you know, it, it quote unquote it took skill to play. Um, from you know, from the videos I could see of him, and from what I understood, the game uh, that character you had to put effort into. You know, it was a. Uh, you had a lot of ins and outs to it. Because 
so much going on it's hard to fucking concentrate. Jeez! I might be dead. I might have just made it. Yeah, the warrior class. It took a lot of concentration, a lot of skill. There was a lot of key bindings involved. It's one of the reasons I got the Razor Naga mouse. <laughs> Purely for when I was watching the videos at the time of Swifty. I see that he had that mouse and I decided to drop money on the mouse as it would improve my game. Because the amount of key bindings and such that went into the warrior class, Counting. I was forever having to change stances and have macros bound to keys. And but I enjoyed that. I enjoyed having to think what I was playing rather than it just being a face roll class. But from when I was last playing, and from what I understand now, warriors are a bit, Countered. you know, not so good anymore. At points they were overpowered. Um, but like I said, I I enjoyed it when if 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 I played good, I won, and it was, you know, it's through me having, not, not the advantage, but it's through me playing better, like, just owning him, whoever I was fighting, it was because I owned him, and it means that I'd come out on top, and that's how the warrior class felt, and it was good, it felt good, you know, when you won, you, it, it, you know, it felt good, it weren't just spam, spam, dead type of thing, um, the rogue seems, seems to be OP, at least now, in this state, and I've only I've had the rogue for a while. I haven't really played it so much, and I've never really took the rogue so much seriously. I have always mostly been about my warrior, apart from when I had my retribution paladin, which was a while back, which was actually my first level 80. Um, again, I leveled that. I leveled that due to a thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was a thing. This was back, back, back. You know, like real long ago when it was all about shock events and I leveled it because one of my friends showed me this video I think it was in school at the time he showed me this video of the shock event and I just thought that's what I want to be and I leveled it up and I remember having a real hard time leveling it everyone's you know called you a noob you could not put out any DPS whatsoever <laughs> it was such a bad class back then. Retribution, anyway. Um, I never really played as a healer back then, so I turned to being a healer just purely because of how bad my DPS was in instances. And um, and then they got their whole buff revamp thing, and I remember that update on that day. I was so overpowered that they went and released straight away a hot fix on Divine Storm or something it was, I can't actually remember what it was, I just remember playing AV being able to pretty much one shot everyone. It was uh, one of the most fun yeah. times I've ever played ever, to just be able to run and just constantly one shot everyone, but um, it got hit hotfix pretty quickly. Shit, I let him take that, that was in the move. I oh, know, we took it, never mind, it's me talking shit. To hold it off though. Oh god, death and decay, fucking unlucky, stealth up. Shit. You bitch. I can still remember some of my key bindings, it is coming back to me a little. Not so much though, and uh, we are kind of getting our asses kicked in this BG, which does kind of suck, actually. I'll show you my gear for now, so you can kind of see where I left last left off. Um, full roofless. I'm guessing is it? No, a lot of it is season 10. Um, a few bits of season 11. So that's where I am now. Well, that's where I, I left off anyway. Come on, crippling poison. Counter, drinking it. 
Aim trinket, still far. far away. You bitch. Smoke bomb for the win. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I can see I can... You know, I'm, I'm getting it back a little with the keybinds and that. I've never been such a pro player, player at this game, you know, compared to Swifty and such. I've, I'd say I've always been above average, definitely, even as a casual player. It's not so much casual, you know, I put the time and effort into the game, but I'd never, you know, real go hardcore at it. And um, I'd still say I'm, I'm above average. I'd like to think anyway. Whether or not that be the case, this is what I like to think. Hmm. It looks like they've won, definitely. It's been a fun game, though. I will probably end up doing a BG on each one of my characters. Just so I can show you where the character's at. <laughs> what I can remember of the character. How I play that character. And um, have a little talk okay. about the character, I guess. Um, like I said, I, had the, I got the Hunter to 85 during the... Scroll of Resurrection, so the gear actually sucks so bad on it. I might give it a play, but it might not be it might not be worth me doing it. Sneaky druid. And uh, that was a loss. Right, let's just see if I can serve this motherfucker. At least I took him with me. And I didn't die. Right, guys, that was a quick AB. Just letting you know where I'm at and the plans for the future. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it was quickly thrown together, I must admit. It, you know, first video, first time back on WoW. So forgive me for any errors and for any mistakes that I've made. I plan on bringing. Like I said, a BG maybe of each character. So um, look forward to that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave it a like, comment, all of that good stuff. And um, I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys.